I've been at the company since 1994 when we were called Manco. And uh, I started off on July 1994, I believe it was, right out of grad school. So I came to the US in 1992 to do my MBA in a small school in Kansas called Pittsburgh State University. And um, after finishing up my MBA, I started working at Manco. Uh, I fell in love with the company, just meeting the people, participating in the, in the we had a couple of meetings that day, uh, our partner meetings and such. Just seeing the culture of the organization, um, I just immediately fell in love with the company. I'll say in a broader way, not just in our sales organization, but inside this company, is I think you, you have to be very flexible. I think flexibility is, uh, is key. Uh, I think you have to uh, not come in and say that, you know, this is my job and this is my job scope and this is what I'm going to do. If that's the kind of uh, uh, environment you're looking for, uh, I don't think you're going to be successful here. And I think I would argue that would be the case with most companies today. It doesn't matter whether it's in our industry or not. Uh, I think the ability to be flexible and adapt is, is very key in today's environment, and, uh, whatever one does. And so it's that. The other big thing that we tend to look for, and I certainly look for in, in our team's attitude, I'm more interested in attitude than I am aptitude. We share a lot inside this company. And if you're not comfortable with um, communication uh, and sharing things, you're not gonna succeed. So uh, the motto that we use, especially in, uh, in our team in sales, because we are the customer interface and we tend to have the, the market insights fastest, is you share good news fast, you share bad news faster. And that's really critical. And that's an uncomfortable feeling if you're a salesperson. Because if you win, it's very easy to come and say, hey, we won, we did great, we got all this new business or whatever. But when you lose, to get up in front of a bunch of people, especially in our, in our various uh, meeting forums that we have, like the executive growth meeting that we have every Thursday morning or a monthly partner meeting, to get up in front of all those people, stand up and say, uh, I'm sorry, we lost a piece of business. It's a very tough thing to do. Uh, because you look at all these people, they're kind of looking at you, they expect you to succeed. So that's really hard and I remember when I first uh, got into sales back in 1997 when I had to come in and make some of those calls, it's gut-wrenching because you see all these people, they're almost like, they're depending on you to, to go uh, be successful and grow the business and when that doesn't happen, that's tough. So if people don't have the, uh, the stomach to do that, that could be challenging. But uh, if, as, if you don't mind communication, if you don't mind information sharing, and you actually like that, you will thrive inside this organization. I think the company is uh, on an amazing track of growth, of opportunities for individuals. Um, and I think for our sales organization specifically, uh, this, as the business grows, there's more opportunities for individuals to continue to grow and take on broader leadership responsibilities which is exactly what we look for. One of the things that I strongly believe and the rest of my management team believes, we want younger people to kind of push us out so we can go do other things while they can bring in a fresh perspective uh, into our role. So my job primarily is to groom the next level of leadership and I'm hoping somebody will kick me out of my job soon so I can go do other things for the organization and they can come in and take over my job and, and probably do it better than what I'm doing. We're a very innovative company. We're bringing new stuff to the market. And if you're in our business and you're in the business of selling to retail, that is the lifeblood. New products is the lifeblood. They want new products because that brings more traffic either into their stores or onto their websites or whatever. And so that's really important for them. It's really important for us because we have new things to sell. It's very exciting and you know our teams get excited, our people get excited. and. Um, and so the trade, that relationship continues to get manifest itself to being a more productive, better relationship. From a consumer standpoint, the end user of our products, they tend to uh, think of us also as a very cool, innovative company that, hey, this, this company is constantly coming out with new things that make my, that makes my life better, you know, makes my life easier. And so that, that's really great because 
end user starts using our products more, they identify with our brands, with our brands more, they they tend to have a very personal feeling with our brands, which at the end of the day that's what brands want. You know, they want to have that personal connection. Well, I'll say this, this is a, a really cool company. You know, people will think of uh, people especially that are not in this industry or are not familiar with this industry or with this business, they think of this as a not so glamorous, uh, you know, manufacturing consumer products business and there are lots more, lot more glamorous industries like you know, technology or whatever. But I would uh, argue that this is just as fun and glamorous and fast and exciting. And uh, I, like I said earlier, my 21st year, I still look forward to coming to work every single day because I enjoy what I do so much. I enjoy the people I work with I, internally and certainly with our customers. Um, it's a fast-paced environment. Um, and we have a lot of fun at what we do. And so if you're looking for something like that where you want a fast-paced, rewarding environment, uh, enriching environment, things where you learn a lot, things that'll challenge you every single day uh, mentally, which is what I think everybody, all of us want. This is the kind of industry that'll get you that. It certainly doesn't have the glitz and glamour of uh, technology or whatever, but I would argue that it, it's just as fun to do that.